Welcome to the 17th Asia Security Summit, the IISS Shangri-La Dialogue. Our common prosperity and security require us to evolve through dialogue, a common rule-based order for the region, and it must equally apply to all individually as well as to the global commons. It's an honor to come before you for the second time as the Secretary of Defense at the Shangri-La Dialogue, which I consider the best opportunity for senior officials to meet, share perspectives, and reinforce the significance of a free and open Indo-Pacific region. Coming here gives me an opportunity to not only talk to my counterparts and have build that relationship, more importantly, it really allows me to be part of that wider uh, security uh, dialogue. As the CEO for Boeing Defense Space and Security, it is absolutely a highlight for me every year. It is one of the rare chances where you get uh, politicians, uh, foreign ministers, uh, secretaries and chiefs together to talk in a thoughtful way about issues that are affecting the world as a whole. This is a place where you get to hear the views uh, and understand the respective positions of all of those countries that uh, share those concerns and helps one gain a better perspective and understand other nations' views, uh, then that can only enhance prospects for peace, security and stability. This was the perfect opportunity to get all re-immersed in the story and meet all the right people. You might ask what NATO is doing at Shangri-La. Well, for us it's a very high value way to find out what the buzz is in the region, what everybody's thinking about in policy terms, what the big issues are that the countries in this part of the world confront. <laughs>